Today I'll show you two methods on how to let bacteria grow in agar plates. For that you'll need piper tips, a one year old infusion of hay, which is just some pond water with dry grass. I left it in that thing for around a week. Then you need some cloves, one half of a little petri dish. Agar plates, I already showed you how to make them in another video. The link for that is down in the description. A Bunsen burner, a lighter to light the Bunsen burner, some ethanol, a variable pipette, a sterilized spreader rod and um, an inculation loop. I watched a drop of that hay um, infusion under the microscope and um, there were very different many different um, types of bacteria like um, for example Bacillus subtilis and um, after one week there's a really strong smell so um, yeah there will be many different bacteria on our plates but um, later of course you can separate them when they grow and um, yeah so it's really full of bacteria First, put your gloves on and cover the floor of the small petri dish with ethanol. You don't need very much, it's just for sterilizing our instruments later. Make sure that you put your reservoir of ethanol very far away because we work with the Bunsen burner. Um, as you can imagine, it's very dangerous because the ethanol is highly flammable and can explode when it touches the fire. In the first method we will use the spreader rod to make a full surface of bacteria on the agar plate. So we want the whole agar to be covered with bacteria. For that light your Bunsen burner just to prevent just to prevent the plates from air contamination. Yeah. Then take an agar plate and your infusion of hay. You'll need 100 microliters of the infusion. So take a pipette tip. Take 100 microliters of the infusion in your pipette. Now sterilize your spreader rod by putting it in the ethanol and then just burn it. You know, and you can see the flame, and now it will be sterilized. But you will do that once again. So put the drop, the 100 microliters of your bacteria mix, in the agar plate. Put away your piper tip. Sterilize your spreader rod. Okay, wait until the flame is has gone away. And first cool your spreader rod as at the side of your agar plate and then take the drop and put that drop on the whole surface of your agar plate. Yeah. Make sure that you really cover the whole surface with your bacteria. And don't open the plate, the petri dish, too much because then bacteria from the earth will, from the air, will get on your agar plate. So that was method one. For method two, we'll use an inoculation loop, sterilize it, and um, take a little drop of our bacteria suspension of the infusion of hay 
and make um, little lines through our agar plate not too deep just on the surface and um, after each three uh, lines you sterilize it and then so you can reach a lower concentration after each step and here there will be um, maybe no bacteria at all but we will see that later so now light your Bunsen burner and sterilize your loop, manipulation loop. Then let it cool for a good time. And then take a, a little drop of your bacteria suspension, like this in your manipulation loop. And start by making those nine lines on your agar plate. So I'll start here. One, two, three. Now sterilize it again. And let it cool on a part where there are no bacteria. And make the next three lines. Sterilize it again. Let it cool. Make the last three lines. And now you're finished. You can sterilize it again. Yeah, put it away. Don't forget to label your plates with a permanent marker. So I wrote um, Aga Aga, infusion of hay, spreader rot, 31st March. And here Aga Aga, infusion of hay, inoculation loop, 31st much. So these are the same petri dishes a few days later, two days now, and um, it did not work perfect because um, there are some places left without bacteria as you can see here. And um, on this petri dish with the inoculation loop uh, I made um, the lines too long. So uh, yeah, the concentration was still too high because I didn't do it like here. So I made the lines with the pen. But I think it's okay. Now, thanks for watching. and I hope you enjoyed the video. And you'd help me a lot by subscribing and commenting this video. Thank you.